when we say I am going to define yeah. myself what generosity means and not allow the Lord to tell me what to do with the money he's given to me, yeah. then I'm the one that's taking back control of yes. this very important arena of my life. And we as believers, the whole issue we have with God is control. Get ready for one of the most profound discussions on biblical economics versus hyper prosperity only at lionsgateacademy.net. This is the question. It's always a question in our life as a Christian of lordship. Yeah. And so when we say, I am going to define yeah. myself what generosity means and not allow the Lord to tell me what to do with the money he's given to me, yeah. then I'm the one that's taking back control of yes. this very important arena of my life. And we as believers, the whole issue we have with God is control. And that, that goes all the way back to the Garden of Eden. Yes. Here we have God, he puts Adam and Eve in, in, in the garden. He says, you're going to work on everything but there's one tree here mm. that has been set aside. You're going to work on it, but you're not going to partake of the fruit thereof. Ooh. And, and that is the same play that the enemy keeps working. And the, yes. the, the play the enemy worked then was, no, you can have some of it. The consequences, <laughs> God said, you know, it's, it's not, it's not going to hold yeah. up for you. you. You will be as God. And this is the same play that the enemy's working now is that God has set apart he set portion. apart a tithe, yes. a portion. First fruits, we call it, all it, these things. Finances, he yeah. set that apart, and the enemy is running that same play saying, hey, God's changed, or hey, that doesn't matter. You can do that. You can have that. And it's uh, and it's moving people into a place of, of sin. could be yeah. through willful ignorance. Yeah. It could yeah. just be through um, just uh, not knowing enough about it. Can I, can I take it somewhere? Yeah, go for it. Now- if we take this, because stewards, we have two different kind of functions as stewards. Mm. Stewards are not only um, servants, but they're beyond that. Yeah. Because a servant will just do what they're told to do. Mm. So you go, hey, go do this, they'll do that. But a steward, a steward has to make decisions. Yeah. A steward has to use discernment. A steward has to use wisdom. Yes. Now, I, I saw this come alive in uh, Matthew 25, yeah. where we see the parable of the talents. Mm, yes. So we have a master it's who- popular parable, yeah. Right. He gives, he gives three guys different portions. He gives one guy five talents, one guy two talents, and one guy one talent. Now, this is what's interesting. He gives them an opportunity. He gives them a talent. He has an expectation, but he gives them no instruction. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, and so so let's let me just clarify because we've heard this preached. I remember as a young man hearing this in church, and the talents, yeah, it's was tap always dancing, type, tap, or, <laughs> <laughs> typing your yeah. typing skills for the Lord. <laughs> yeah, but it's money. The yes. Bible's very clear; it's money. Yes, yeah. So God gives them a different portion of money, and then He has He has an expectation that they would multiply it, mm. but He doesn't tell them to do anything with it. So then you have two of them, two of the three, two of them are operating um, as stewards. Yeah. They recognize that they have an opportunity. They have something that's been given to them by the master that they have an opportunity to multiply. Wow. So they go trade with it. Yeah. And they double it. Yes. You have one who has that slave or servant mentality mm -hmm. who says, no, if he didn't tell me to do anything with it, I'm just going to bury it in the ground. <laughs> yeah. And then when the you never know what's going to happen, right? <laughs> yeah. And then when the master comes back, he says, "Here's what's yours." <laughs> and uh, the, I mean, the master says, "You wicked servant! You should have done something with that's this." That's right. You should have done something to increase the kingdom. What, so for many, many people at offering time, they will have in their mind, "I'm a steward," but they will approach offering time as a servant or as a slave, waiting yeah. to hear, God, yeah. what do you want me to do? Yeah. Now that's good, but you can take it too far where you're sitting there saying, I'm not going to give, I'm not going to tithe unless God tells me to do. Yeah. To do. Hold on. God is telling you every <laughs> single Sunday, he's put it in his word. Yes. He's given you an opportunity every single weekend. Yeah, yeah. You're watching online. There's opportunities to participate. There's opportunities for you to multiply what God has given you. Yeah. Not give away. Yeah. But with both of those people, the one that had five talents, the one that had two, it was about them multiplying those resources back. Yes. 
Hey, if you're watching this right now and it's a blessing to you, I want to encourage you to go to lionsgateacademy.net, become a subscriber, get involved, and you can watch this in its entirety. If you're just watching a clip of this right now, send it to two or three people that you love and that you know that it will bless. All right. I hope you enjoy.